हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कॉमर्स अड्डा प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड डू कमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स अबाउट दिस वीडियो सो गाइस यूजीसी नेट पेपर वन रिसर्च चैप्टिट्यूड टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च सीरीज नाउ वी आर इन द सेकेंड वीडियो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च विच इज बेसिक और फंडामेंटल रिसर्च एंड अप्लाइड रिसर्च एज वेल एज एक्शन रिसर्च थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इज अ रिपीटेटिव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द Previous year questions of UGC NET exam and various research entrance examinations. We are having uh, many questions from this area. Let us try to discuss the pinpoint uh, conceptual understanding between these three types of research. First, let me start with a basic research. Basic research is also called as an theoretical research. This is also called as an theoretical research, theory related, as well as this is also called as an fundamental research. this is also called as an fundamental research right so theoretical research basic research or a pure research also it is also called as an pure research fundamental research theoretical research so whenever we are identifying a new theory or inventing a new theory that comes under the theoretical type of a research whenever we are trying to emerge a new theory whenever you are trying to create or invent a new theory or adding new knowledge adding new knowledge to the existing discipline suppose i have done i have invented some new theory in the commerce financial management like a modi gilani miller i have invented another new theory so that is a new theory identification because of that theory invention which i made as an author or the researcher i am adding a new set of knowledge to my existing domain of a knowledge so it is uh, adding a new knowledge to the existing fund or existing set of uh, knowledge or a domain so uh, the new theory identification can come in any way either a literally new theory which is not uh, anywhere till now or else from the existing theories also new way of a theories by criticizing the existing theories also we can emerge the new theories that's called as a basic research pure research or a theoretical research or a fundamental research or a pure research that's it point number 1 next point number 2 applied research this applied research is also called as a secondary research secondary research what is this secondary research means by whatever the theory that you have invented in this theoretical research when you are going to when you are going to apply the theory apply the theory apply the theories in practical or activities whenever you are going to apply this theory whatever you invented in the basic research when you are implementing those theories in a practical way when you are applying that theory suppose newton law has given over here newton law is a theoretical research but uh, newton law is uh, can be applied in any of the other uh, problems also other research problems also we can apply the newton law so that application of the theories in a practical or else it can also give us new application of the existing theories new application of the existing theories also new application of existing it can be in both way new application of existing theories or applying the old theories as it is so both way it is called as an applied research this is also called as an secondary research when you are trying to implement in a practical way the whole theories are comes under the practical applied research now most important which is a repetitive uh, question that is action research action research is also called as an practitioner research this is also called as an practitioner research practitioner research in this this is more about the practicality but this is about a to solve 
to solve immediate problems to solve immediate problems to solve immediate problem and to enhance or improve or betterment of existing situation existing situation to some more better manner to enhance or to improve to uh, the betterment of existing situation to some more better manner and to solve the immediate problem that to the problems related to academic in nature like it may be related to a teaching or it may be related to a classroom it may be related to anything this is majorly used in the educational settings educational or acad academic in nature educational or academic problems educational or academic problems only it will be used this is a practical uh, solving of a immediate problems which are there practical solving of immediate problems is comes under the action research there is a process also which will be followed that is plan act observe reflect pair will be followed so let me explain more in detail about the action research and the other the two types of research this action research was coined by Kurt Levin in the year 1940. It refers to a wide variety of evaluative and investigative and analytical method. So it is to solve the immediate problem or to improve or to better or ameliorate the. Ameliorate is nothing but improvise the existing situation to some more better manner. It is a way to solve the societal problems or societal issues. And it will involve the total uh, four step process. Planning acting observing reflecting par p a o r planning acting observing reflecting plan act observe reflect this is a sequence which is asked many times in the ugc net exam please do remember this one that's all about the uh, action research and this will be used in the educational research educational problems like lecturing initiative with multimedia tools in engineering education and using drawings to understand the second language learners prior experience these are like you know uh, educational or academic nature related problem which is to better the situation and if you look at the difference between the two also that is uh, fundamental or a basic or a pure research this is theoretical in nature this is practical in nature this is to expand the existing knowledge and uh, uh, formulating a new theories this is to solve a specific practical problem and answer a specific question make a conclusions make a conclusions developing a technology or a technique so this is almost a theoretical research will be a theory everywhere whereas practical practic, uh, practical approach may not be a practical everywhere because same solution you may not give for every problem but a same theory you can give it for every problem same solution you cannot give every problem in a sense this theory is a theory everywhere you cannot change the theory unless you contradict or to uh, criticize but the application of theory you can change it theory you cannot change it but application of a theory you can change it that's all about the basic research and applied research and action research i hope you might have understood by this time the differentiate between the three things that is action applied and fundamental or a basic research if you like it please do hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and do comment if you have any doubt regarding this video or any other previous videos please do go, uh, go back to my uh, playlist also in that playlist, uh, net jar of paper one related uh, uh, topics are there. You can just uh, uh, look into them also. And if you want to appreciate, please do hit the like button for, the, uh, for those videos also. Thank you so much. We'll be meeting in the next video.